What's going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael and today I have a Pokemon Go related video and no we are not talking about Meltan we are actually talking about Generation 4 which is inevitably going to come to Pokemon Go sooner or later so I just got this is going to be a two-part video um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into part one I'm just going to throw out some Pokemon that you guys need to be aware of and Pokemon that you guys need to be capturing so you can evolve them for generation four so up first we're going to talk about eevee so you guys are going to need to catch all the eevee that you guys can find because when gen four drops we're going to have two new evolutions to add of course with being glaceon and leafeon um as you guys know from the games leafeon has a higher physical attack stat um glaceon i believe is more special side um even though that really doesn't matter i guess for pokemon go but um I guess some questions are how are we going to evolve these guys because you know we had you know the whole sparky what was it sparky um to me no that's because what we had sakura and uh Ta tamio was for umbreon and espion i believe sparky uh was for jolteon then we had Oh my goodness, I can't even remember the names for the other two guys. Yeah, so I wonder if it's going to be a whole nickname thing with these two evolutions. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. Um, but yeah, we're going to have two new evolutions to add to the party. So there you guys go. So catch all the EU that you guys can find. Up next, of course, when Generation 2 came out, we were able to hatch Ellie Kid out of eggs. Of course, Electabuzz. Now... For Electabuzz, I don't know about you guys, but I have had the hardest time running into wild Electabuzzes. I never find them. So I suggest if you guys are having the same issues, throw an Electabuzz and walk around with them so you guys can get enough candies to get that Electivire that is, of course, going to drop with Gen 4. Um, Electivire is just a really awesome Pokemon. And honestly, if I get the chance, I'm going to throw him right there, boost up that CP, and we're going to be taking some gems with Electivire for sure. So yeah. Get your guys' Electabuzz walking around because that's where you're going to gain all your candies from. Or raid battles and, of course, use those rare candies on Electabuzz, too. That'll boost up some candy there. Um, up next, we have one of my favorite Pokemon. We have Gliscor. Um, again, Gligar, for me, is one of those Pokemon that's very elusive. I haven't found a lot of them. I think I found, like, four the entire time um, Gen 2 was dropped. So make sure, um, I'm sure this is going to be another item evolution. You know, speaking of that, let's backtrack for a minute. I completely forgot about, I bet you they're going to have the Electalizer for Electivire as well. So I'm assuming we're going to get, what is it, the Razor Fang or Razor Claw? One of the two evolves um, Gligar into Gliscor. So I guarantee you we're going to add some new items to Pokemon Go. So yeah, so get ready for that uh, Gliscor. Um, I'm actually going to... I guarantee it's either going to be a 50 or a 100 for Gligar. So if you guys are able, I mean, I'd take your pick. And uh, probably I'd probably walk around with Gligar, to be honest, until we got one. Um, now we're going to go over to Murkrow. Murkrow, of course, evolves into Honchkrow. If you guys are like me, I recently caught, um, if you guys check my Twitter, I caught a shiny Murkrow just randomly about two months ago. I have about 150 candies for Murkrow. Um, my shiny Murkrow isn't the best, but it has um, decent IVs and a really good um, power-up attack. So I feel like I might just evolve him into, you know, get that shiny pink Honchro for everybody. So yeah, um, I always find Murkrow. This is a Pokemon that I don't think anyone really has a problem with collecting candies for. It is a pain in the butt to catch so if you guys don't want to throw pineapple berries to get those six candies for the one Murkrow, I'd suggest throwing the Nano Berry so it doesn't move around as much. And that'll be an easy, easy Pokemon for you guys to evolve. Um, again, uh, Murkrow, what is it? A Dust Stone evolves this, but obviously we've taken out um, Stone Evolution, so I don't see that being an issue. Um, up next, this is actually going to be really, really curious to me. Uh, we have Nose Pass that, of course, evolves into Probo Pass. Um, nose pass um, if you go to areas that are like highly popular like um, for example whenever you guys go to uh, I don't know where you guys shop at but personally I go to Walmart or Publix and if you go there there are tons of Pokemon around and I guarantee you probably one in like 10 will probably be a nose pass right now I think I'm at 40 nose pass candies so I guarantee this is gonna be another 50 
uh, to evolve. Um, now in Gen Four, you had to evolve them on the that mountain. I don't think I've actually had a nose or a Probo Pass since Gen Four, so I don't know how he evolves in the other games. Maybe, but I I doubt it's an item. So yeah, with that, you guys, you guys should be able to evolve this thing either a fifty. I I would assume a fifty. I would I would assume a fifty to evolve nose pass. Um, up next, we have Porygon. Now, recently, I just uh, caught my first Porygon. I have never seen a Porygon in the wild. Uh, I ran into it the same day I ran into my first Tangela. Um, but yeah, so Porygon is going to be one that I'm going to have to walk around with as well. I don't even have a Porygon 2. And of course, Porygon Z comes out in Gen 4. So you guys going to need to be walking around with this Porygon because... I, I don't foresee another way of you guys get, getting this Porygon Z anytime soon. So, yeah, walk around with that Porygon. Um, now, it does evolve with the upgrade. Um, the upgrade, and then what is it? There's another one, Dubious Disc, I want to say. Um, so, that is an item that you guys are going to have to get at Pokestops or um, event items. So, make sure you guys have some of those. I believe I have two for a Porygon 2, but they obviously they haven't released for Porygon Z yet. So there is an item that's out right now that you can get to at least evolve Porygon to Porygon 2. And I'm sure they're going to have that same item to evolve Porygon 2 to Porygon Z. So yeah, be prepared for that. Up next, of course, we have the line of Ralts to Curlia to Gallade. Gallade evolved with the Shiny Stone, I want to say, or the Dawn Stone. So... I'm assuming, since it wasn't a held item, I'm assuming it's going to be another nickname situation. Or maybe they'll just do male-female, even though I know males can be Yardivores as well. Um, but, uh, it's going to have, I would, I would assume it's going to be nickname-based. But yeah, um, the Psychic event is out right now. So, be sure to catch as many Ralts as you can, throw as many Pineup Berries as you can at it. To, so you guys can get this Gallade. I don't even have a Gardevoir right now. I don't even think I have a Curly. I have like one Ralts because I keep um, removing it. Another really good way, uh, speaking of that real quick, to gain some candies on Pokemon. If you guys have friends that you guys play with, make sure you trade your, your weak Ralts to each other because that is going to cost you Stardust, but that is going to give you some candy. So, for example, if I have a not very good in battle Ralts and my, my partner over there has another not very good in battle Ralts, Trade those two Ralts and at least, you know, you might spend 100 something candy or 100 Stardust to uh, do this trade, but at least you're going to get two candies out of it, which is better than one. You know what I mean? It might take like another minute, but is what it is. So I, I could foresee Gallade being very powerful in Pokemon Go. So do your best, guys. Ralts is out there. So hunt it down. All right. The next one, one of my favorite Pokemon um right on right now i have a lucky ride on that i got from a trade because i took a 2016 ride on from my friend and they traded it back to me and or they traded it to me and i traded them one of mine so we each have because they, they did that little uh 10 10 trades from 2016 event where you trade a pokemon from 2016 they instantly became lucky and had boosted up stats so i do have a really powerful ride on right now that i guarantee you uh it's 50 right now to get right on to get a uh, right horn to ride on so i'm assuming it's going to be 100 from right on to right period um assault vest evolved right on to right period or not assault vest what the heck the protector it's called the protector is what right on used so i'm assuming that's going to be another item that's going to be dropped in gen 4 so be sure to be on the lookout for that because that is what i'm going to have to hunt down to get my right period so yeah, and honestly, my ride on is awesome. It has Stone Edge. I love it. It's good. So uh, the next Pokemon I talked about earlier, we talked about Tangela to Tangrowth. Tangela is another Pokemon for me that's very elusive. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to walk around with it. Um, I have a lot of Pokemon. I'm gonna have to walk around with or just try. So I don't foresee me completing Gen Four anytime soon. Um, or maybe these Pokemon will be out in the wild. But just letting you know for Pokemon that you can catch and evolve. Um, Tangela to Tang Growth, of course, it was a specific move, evolves Tangela to Tang Growth. So I'm assuming there's not going to be any kind of relation to items or anything crazy like that. So yeah, um, I would assume 50 to 100 candies would evolve this thing. 
probably more so. I'm leaning more so on the 50 side than anything because Tangle is a hard to find Pokemon, at least in my experience. Let me know if you guys have trouble with any of these Pokemon just like me. Um, and then the last Pokemon on this list is going to be Yanma to Yanmega. Um, Yanma for me, I found honestly when Gen, when Gen 2 dropped, I ran into a lot of Yanma. I ran into a whole lot of Yanma. Um, but I haven't reached that. I guarantee you, uh, Yan Megas are actually a really good one. So I probably would assume a hundred at least. Um, but Yan was out there, hunt it down. They haven't had like a bug community day, I don't think. So I'm sure the one's going to drop. Just catch as many Yan as you can walk around with it if you need to. Um, obviously if you want this Yan Mega, I want it personally. I'd actually prefer this over a few of the other ones that we've already talked about. But yeah, so I will be hunting down some more Yama because I know they're out there, um, at least for me. So yeah, um, that is all the Pokemon in this part one of this video that you guys need to be on the look for before Gen 4 drops because you guys can hurry up and get them evolutions going the minute Gen 4 drops if you guys collect the right amount of candy. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful, leave a like. And let me know down below what Pokemon you have. Um, if you guys are still playing Pokemon Go, which I hope some of you are, uh, be sure to add me. Uh, drop your friend code down below. Uh, some new events happen where you have to have more friends. So, And I send out uh, gifts every, every single day. So if you guys want to be friends on Pokemon Go, be sure to drop your friend code down below and we will get you added on there. So yeah, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here, guys. I will see you in the next one.